Well, good morning, viewers. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I was going to continue raiding Boat Scalds. Why have I forgotten the name of the place? Anyway, I was going to keep raiding that place, but this is happening, so we'll pay attention to this. The Forgotten Beast Irum has come. A gigantic humanoid composed of mud. It has a pair of fan-like antennae, and it has a gaunt appearance. Beware, it's poisonous sting. Now, I do have something to report from our last raid. Um... <laughs> Let's see. It didn't go as bad... Boat Skulls. It didn't go as badly as it could have, but... <clears throat> we suffered a few just... Why? Let me scroll. Oh, we're already at the bottom. There we go. We, we did get a few of them, but we, we suffered a few casualties, uh, including a squad leader. Um, so we are waiting for them to return home so that we can replenish them. But that can wait, because right now we have to deal with this mud blob? which is probably not going to be all that dangerous. Um, we will dispatch a few full squads. Yeah, look at that, look at that. That is, what, four, seven, ten casualties, which is more than I wanted. We'll follow Irum here while we wait for it. Oh, look at that. They are already on the scene. So then, um, I think what we'll do is just let it... Wait, does it have... What does it have? A poisonous sting, which is not the worst, it's not the best. I think we'll just let this thing wander into the fort on its own. We'll just let it walk into our squads. We haven't tried that before. <laughs> what is it doing? Come on. Get in there. There we go. Yep. Come on in. There you go. And we're done. Okay. <laughs> Was anybody poisoned? I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Hmm? There. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see. Um, kind of, okay, so it kind of looks like it, yeah, it never even got the chance to strike. There we go, it got one shot off, which was blocked, and otherwise accomplished nothing. So that's good, we win. Of course we win, obviously. <clears throat> this notwithstanding. All right, let's replace a few dwarves, and then we'll uh, go again. <laughs> Like, what else are we going to do, right? Do we have any unassigned Mark's Dwarves? Probably not. Oh, oh there's a novice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Competent. Can I get one more? Do we have one more? Come on, come on. That's fine. I know where we can get one. Is it here? No, not you. Hmm. All right, well, that's fine. Um, scroll down to the bottom here. We'll take this hunter. Meanwhile, uh, which one of you... Here we go, a legendary axe dwarf. Earth. Um, assuming that's Aerith. Yeah. Sungorshilrar. Okay, congratulations, you've just been promoted. Not the queen, not the queen. Couple randos, couple randos over here. Oh yeah, Vabok, who is supposed to be our stone hauler. You're exempted, because you're supposed to be hauling stones. One more. Catten. It would be funny, but no. Okay. Uh, thick up the metal crafter. Okay, job done. All right, we're going again. <laughs> uh, we'll just stick to raiding. It's y'all's turn now. We do have some giant crows around.
Okay, there we go. Now then, we are working on a project. As you can see, I'm building a thing here. Um, this is just going to be a little tower. Actually, we can go ahead and fill these in. No, we can't. Wait, what? What do you mean I can't build a wall there? What do you mean there's a building present? Oh, I built statues here. These can go away for the moment. Okay. Um, right. Right, so we're building a watchtower here. I just have a feeling we're going to want this at some point in the near future. Probably should have built this sooner, but we're doing it now. Uh, in part, just to have a project while we wait for all of our raids to happen. You know, it is important to have ways to occupy our time. This has got to come down. And I will endeavor to make... The I have screwed up. To make this tower as unclimbable as possible. Fortunately, we got a lot of wood we're not using. Oh good, you improved it. Tattered Troll Fur Sock masterfully. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We did get a bunch of new war dogs from our last couple of raids. Uh, we had to massacre quite a few animals. <laughs> but we did get some new dogs. We're eating some cat meat and some peafowl meat. And more llama than you would expect. Interrupted by a giant crow. Okay. Have we not killed? Not really. Okay. You know, it's okay. They're doing their best. I assume. Can they not get there? Is that the problem? created a situation where they can't get where they need to be because I keep doing this. It's kind of SOP for me when I'm trying to build walls. Oh, right, they need a place to stand. Oh, a straight buzzard, you say. Buzzards. Okay, yeah, we don't need all these. Um, one male is fine. Go ahead and slaughter the rest. We need more stuff in the fort, I think. I feel confident about that. More stuff. And I don't know how tall this is going to end up being. Just keep building floors. <laughs> there we go. Now they can stand in places and build things. That's what we like to see. Go on, finish it. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> now we are going to make an ammo stockpile here. There are bolts scattered just all over the map. Oh, good. They've shot down a crow, and now they're beating it to death. Yes, good, good! Fantastic. How many of them crows we got left? A couple. Hold on a moment. Excuse you? Oh, you're just visiting. Okay, you can be here. That's fine. We don't have a problem as such with goblin tourists. We just don't want them moving in. Yes, today is going to be the tower building episode.
please finish deconstructing things. Stop walking through the construction zone, you jackasses. <laughs> So you'll bring the stones up here, but you won't you won't move them two yards <laughs> into the workshop. Okay, all right. You know, far be it for me to tell you how to do your dwarfing, huh? We're still being interrupted by giant crows, which means that we once again need to dispatch the squad to hopefully finish off. Oh no, what did I what did I just tell them to kill? Oh the. Visiting Goblin, um, you know, if you kill him, I won't be angry. <laughs> it's not necessary, but like, I'm not going to hold it against you. Oh. Uh, da, 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 da. We need to do this now. We need gold. Do we have a single gold bar? Gold bar. Fantastic. Boop. There we go. Just plug that hole, would you? Rovod Ultarushat Ag Sethestesh Kudist. The hunter has grown attached to a steel battle axe. Are you hunting with the axe? Are you like chasing things down and hitting them with the axe? That would be very impressive. Stop walking through the construction site. I hate you all. It's my fault, really. For expecting the dwarves to do things. <laughs> that was my mistake. Okay, we need... So we, we are going to take a precaution here. We're going to make an overhang. Uh, to hopefully prevent goblins from just climbing up the tower. Because I think that's what killed us in um, Saber Shoved. All those years ago game time, it was last year in real time, I think, I think that's right. Okay, this is, um, well, this is going to take a while. And we're back. We're just putting the finishing touches here. We have this retractable drawbridge that blocks the top of our new guard tower. Um, which has five levels of fortifications, some ammo stockpiles, and this, yeah, this bridge will cap the staircase so that we can get out on top if we want to. <clears throat> um, hey, there we go. We're just gonna tear apart, tear apart this makeshift staircase that we built here. And then we'll do like this, and we can just build that out of. Oh, diorite blocks will be fine. Why not? Who cares if we're putting stone on top of wood? Superior dwarven engineering. Also, we are at war with crows. The giant crows just won't stop coming back and interrupting us, so we have the um, crystalline swamps off and on working on killing them. Now, we have been cycle raiding boat skulls, but a couple of problems. One, their population is not going down, and two, doo -doo -doo, we find the most recent one. There it is. Now, as you can see, um, we are suffering some casualties here. We're getting them a lot worse than they're getting us. But we are suffering casualties on a pretty regular basis. We've got 211 dwarves right now. Um, so, I know, uh, I know I said I didn't want to, but maybe, no, we won't, we won't raise because that is a very direct confrontation. But let's send out one. Two, three, four, five. Let's do like that. Let's send out five squads to raid them. Okay. Recon in force. We'll see if we can't put more of a dent in it. It's those wraiths of snow <clears throat> that seem to be 
the biggest problem. They seem to be fairly powerful undead. Uh, so we will need to deal with them at some point. Now as for our body parts... Uh, okay, it's the horn that's the problem. Decorate with ivory and tooth. Decorate with... Yeah, decorate with horn. Okay. I don't know that we actually have any teeth hanging around, but we'll find out. Oh, gee, look at that. Giant crows. Could you get in the cages, please? Could you just get into the cages? Let's run a quick clean cycle here. There we go. Okay. Well, in any case, we have this. I always go up too high. So now we just need to uh, tear down this staircase, which we will do one layer at a time to try to avoid stranding anyone on the staircase, which I've definitely done before. Yes, yes, giant crows. Well done. There they are. There's one of them anyway. At least come down here and get stuck in our cages. That's where we like the wildlife, is in cages. Good. Okay, so we're just waiting for them to come back now. Um, in the meantime, we've got this. We've got this. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that they attack us. Obviously not right at this moment, because most of our military is currently out. But I'm hoping that they attack us because uh, that'll be a much better fight for us. We can use the cage traps, and we can run down the survivors. <clears throat> It'll be a good time. Of course, I think the biggest problem here is that in Boat Skulls, we're fighting not only intelligent undead, but our fellow dwarves, who are our toughest adversaries. Elves are pretty much nothing. Even the goblins aren't putting up that much of a fight. Of course, <clears throat> they've really just been bringing goblins and trolls and the occasional war beast. They haven't been bringing, like, demons or anything. Thank goodness, honestly. Why is it taking you so long to tear apart that one? Thank you. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> these dwarves, man! Okay, yes, we have no ivory nor teeth. I wasn't sure. Also, we have used up all of our dyes. I don't know where they are, but we've used them. Um, so let us continue milling plants. <coughs> Just continue doing that. Look at all our food! <laughs> Come lay siege, you won't starve us out! Legitimately, though, come lay siege to us so we can stop going to you. That would be the most convenient. Remove construction. There we go. Astesh the mechanic. We've lost a few combat veterans in recent raids, which doesn't make me real happy, obviously. I am curious how they are getting up and down. Ah, they can still go that way. Okay. That's good. That's good. You know what, we actually haven't chopped down trees for a while. Uh, we did use a ton of wood building this thing, of course. Oh yeah, we have our diary over here now. Yes, good. Go ahead and chop down them trees. Chop down some of these. Just keep us stocked up on wood. I don't know what we're going to use it for, but just keep it around. You know, I like having it. Something I need to pay a lot more attention to when we do the tavern. I, I, I looked into the instruments, and it turns out, as you might have expected, and I probably knew this at one point, that the reason the dwarves are not playing these instruments is just because they don't know how. So they don't have a demand for it. So when we do the tavern, I need to make sure 
that I stock it with instruments our dwarves actually know how to play. I'm not going to bother this late in this fort. <laughs> on the other hand, I did build this tower. So depending on how much longer this goes on, yeah, that might be a thing. No commanders here, five commanders traveling. Okay. Now, I don't know if that means here at the fort or here at the target. There's the queen. What is the queen doing? The queen is chopping wood because she is, remember everyone, a legendary woodcutter. That's why she was made queen. Yeah, wow, look at her go. Queen Ngebzo maligned judged. Bane of trees. Yeah. Oh, I cut down our fruit trees. That's fine. New ones will grow. It doesn't matter. I suppose I could have cut down some bloodthorns. Oh well. Let's see. Did we, um... Okay, I, I legitimately can't tell where the staircase stops. There we go. Get that one next. <laughs> We're all gathering the logs. Uh, you'll notice, however, our stone stockpiles remain empty. Still, still nothing in there. That's our falcon. We should have the falcon go taunt the uh, family here. We got them all in there now? Yeah, we got them all in there now. We got seven peregrine falcon folk in here. Hey, all right, okay. Taking a look. One casualty. One casualty. Let's do this thing. Okay. <clears throat> we got there. We attacked the modest seducers. We killed a lot of them. Uh, dwarves. Oh, there's an intelligent undead. There's a goblin. Another goblin. Did we get any... There's that Wraith of Snow, those Sari. Those are dangerous. Those are real dangerous. Scrolling down. Okay, well, we did, um... I think we got them worse than they got us. Which is what I was hoping for. I was actually kind of hoping we'd do a lot more damage than that. But it still says 200. What are we supposed to do here? I guess we just keep hitting them. Over and over and over until we get them. I'm hesitant to send in Logan, though. You know, when I was playing around in adventure mode with him, uh, I definitely learned that the thing the thing that brings Logan down is, as the Dungeons & Dragons players say, action economy. I'm sure they use that term in other games, too. Um, when there are a lot of enemies, he just has too many hits coming at him at once. He can't block them all. And that is what kills Logum. Also, I mean, I don't know if this is old for a dwarf, but Logum is uh, 94. Should I turn him into a vampire? No, that's a dumb idea. Logum would never. Alright, uh, da 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 da. You're taking that apart right now, okay. Well then, there's no reason not to uh, just designate the one you're standing on. Here they come. Now, you didn't bring a bunch of new animals with you, did you? No, okay, great. Could you uh do that faster, Nomal? It's not like there's really a hurry right now. I just don't want to wait. Well, whatever. Things are getting done. Whether I'm watching them or not, they are getting done. Just usually very slowly. I would like that child to move so we can drop the smasher. I'm not that worried about it. I built this little kill room over here and we barely used it. Oh well. 
let's see, can we replace our lost guy yet? Kind of looks that way. These are spear dwarves, but I don't think we have any pre-trained spear dwarves left. So it's going to be uh, Eter the Blacksmith. Congratulations, welcome to the squad. <sighs> Do your best. Do your best. Okay, no, they are not considered back yet. Very well. We'll wait. We'll keep waiting. Social level as active as ever. Queen worshipping in the general purpose temple. That's what we like to see. Stones stubbornly unmoved into stockpiles. We haven't done this for a bit. And so this is the game for us now. We wait for the militia to come back, and then we go out again. And then we wait for them to come back, and we go out again. Over and over until one side or the other is completely dead. There's not even any point in scrolling through the fortress, you know? Okay, we almost got this broken down. Should we build something ridiculous? Let's build something ridiculous. Um, I don't know what, though. We just, uh, there's not much that we need. Archery targets, we could build an archery range. Oh yeah, by the way, good news, the yard guys came back and they brought leaf blowers. Stand by. Okay, so every time I think they're done, they pull out another tool and just keep going. We're just, we're just, we're gonna deal. We're gonna deal with it. Tobol Lissid Logem has grown to become a peasant. Well, welcome to the fort. Also, we have some more bobcats for the training of. So I pulled up Legends Viewer uh, in between chunks there. And I looked at a couple of things. First thing, there are <clears throat> 1,168 goblins in Scorpion Spray, according to our Legends file, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. Number two, there are zero humans in Noble Buckled. Um, and it looks like there weren't even any there when we took it over. All the humans are somewhere over here. Yep, there, there they go again. Great, that's that's fantastic. Thanks for that, guys. Okay. <sighs> okay. I think we're in the clear now. I'm finishing this episode. Right. Um, so anyway, the third thing is... Over here on Boat Skulls, supposedly... Uh, let me just tab on over here to Legends Viewer. Let's see. Supposedly in Boat Scalds, eight dwarves, three goblins, a bunch of animals, and three of these intelligent undead. Two wraiths of snow and something called a soldier of Maroltol. Um, so I'm not entirely sure why we're struggling so much to kill them. Let's, um... Man, I don't know. Let's try... Let's try a pillage again. Um, we'll send five. We'll send five squads. Surely something has got to come of this, right? <laughs> don't die. Just don't die, okay? <laughs> <coughs> he said choking on his own spit. Ugh. It's okay, coffee will save me. And look, now we get to watch them all walk out in a giant group. I love doing this. I like this part right here. This is the part that gets me excited. I would, however, really like them to lay siege to us. Uh, you know, with like 200 guys. One of them's carrying a book. 
Yeah, just bring just bring everybody so we can trap them all in our cages. Maybe we can shoot them from our fancy new watchtower. Yeah. I suspect we'll be taking some casualties on us. I don't know where the rest of that 200 population supposedly comes from. Um, there aren't 200 entities showing up in the Legends file. Like, even if we count all their um, other populations, you know, the animals and so on, still not 200. Not sure what's going on there. Little annoyed there are no humans in Noble Buckled. But it's, it's fine, I guess. I, I guess, sure. <sighs> okay. See, I lost my train of thought here. But with the leaf blowers... Downside to complex living, you know? We could use some more wood, couldn't we? Well, you know what? Um... Boop, boop, it's that one. There we go. Here, let's, um... We haven't cut down some bloodthorns for a while. What are you doing down here? <laughs> Why are you the only one going out through the caverns? Would like to know where the Royal Consort is, and actually, since I've got Legends Viewer up, I can just check that real quick while we wait for those trees to get chopped down. Um, let's see, we want... where are we? Not Saber Shove, we're in Verse Tomb. 204 dwarves, one goblin, and a single Forgotten Beast Outcast. Oh, yes. And a whole bunch of animals. Just so many. Ally Mountain. Where's Queen and Gebzo? Come on. And Gebzo, there she is. Okay. She has a... Oh, wait a minute. There's her spouse. Oh, her husband's dead. But he's still listed as her... Oh, he died in 256, but he's still listed as her husband. So that's interesting. Okay. So, um, yeah, we didn't need to put a sarcophagus in there for him. Very well. Has she taken a lover? Deagle Heroic Fountains. Does not live here. So, very well. And she probably wants what? Mugs? Mugs! Yeah, look at all them trees get chopped down. Look at Her Majesty chopping down the trees herself. You gotta love it. Gotta love seeing management get down in the trenches as long as they don't get in the way. Are we still waiting for somebody to roll out? Yep. Kib! Kib! Yeah, whatever. You'll get your gear and you'll get where you're going. In the meantime, um, can we <clears throat> press some... No, we can't. Why not? I want honey. The dwarves need honey. The dwarves need a lot of things. Mostly, the dwarves need to no longer be under threat of attack by goblins, which I, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's a realistic demand. We got plenty of stuff here. Let's do things with it. Cat and Vukarlakot. Oh! Cat and died? <laughs> Hold on a moment. <laughs> oh! I forgot to let her out of the room. All right, well. <laughs> I forgot to let her out before she starved to death. I feel terrible. All right, well, that will... You're pillaging the corpse? Before reporting that you found someone dead. 
You're pillaging the corpse. She's not missing. The manager just stepped on her. Dwarves. Okay. Um, let's. Oh wait, did somebody. Okay, there we go. You got it. You got it. She died of thirst. Oopsie doodle. Well. And uh, at least we won't have to worry about any more tantrums. Am I right, fellas? She was actually throwing a tantrum at one point, but doesn't seem to have smashed up anything in the room, so that's that's fine. Dropped a bunch of stuff. All right, let's follow Cole the peasant here. As uh, she entombs Catton for us. Truly a tragedy. This noble Stumpy. Okay, now dumped in a box. Dumped in which box? That one right there. Well, we don't need a slab to tell us what happened. Ooh. War. War. Are these just remains? These are just remains. Okay. <clears throat> well, anyway, now we're just waiting for the squads to come back again. Uh, the mayor ended a mandate. Who told you you could have mandates? Get out of here. Don't make me lock you in your room. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll forget about you. You'll die and no one will know. Lemel will pillage your corpse and not report that you've died. Lemel. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, how are them green glass blocks? We have 12. Okay. Well, that's not really enough, is it? <laughs> Here, let's do something ugly. Give her like a walkway. Oh, and you know what? There's a cage here. We didn't need this other one. There we go. We'll get them moved in there. <clears throat> Gather sand, collect sand, I guess. I'm going to regret making these repeating tasks. Okay. Oh good, you've improved our grape seeds bag. Thank you. Grapes, you say? The dwarves could use some wine. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Oh, and now you want stuff made. You want picks. Why? We have enough picks. We'll make them out of copper. There you go. Okay, have your picks. And eat them too. Oh, hey, everybody's out of the smasher pile. Um, is there anything we need out of here? Ugh. Eh, some rocks. Some tattered clothes that we could trade. I don't see any legendary items, so let's just go ahead and smashy smash. Here we go, kick Ross to the Bone Carver. Nobody climb into the smash pile. Oh, I see. We're out of bags. They're all full of seeds, I suspect. Half expecting some kid to just run out. What's, what's about to get the smash here? Hang on. That is a two-legged rhino lizard 
which has now exited this reality. Nope. <laughs> it seems to be fine. Can we fling it into the stratosphere? Or are vermin just kind of immune to that? Wouldn't even surprise me. There's a you. It's, uh, it's Kickrost turning back around to pull the lever again. Thank you for finishing the job. Launch that lizard! Pachoo! Oh, well. Well, we... No, we didn't even wound it. That is, uh... All apricot leaves, not blood. Okie dokie! Oh. Hey, they're back. Okay. First of all. Couple of casualties. Couple more. Three more. Five. A lot there. Okay, we took some hits there, but how did we do? How did we do? Let's watch it unfold. We arrived. We attacked. We got first blood. Okay, okay. We're doing all right. We're winning. And then I guess what? The rates of snow get involved? Is that what happens here? See, this is going really well. Yep, and then the wraiths of snow get involved. Oh, just the one so far. Oh, we killed the soldier of Marolatol. Come on. Yeah, okay, and then those two wraiths, whatever those are, they just kind of tore through us, didn't they? Jeepers. All right, I don't think we need to watch the rest of this. Uh, wow, all right. <laughs> Did we win? Does that count as a win? I have no idea. Well, let's wait for the squads to roll back in. We'll replenish and we'll go again. It'll be fun. For, for us, not so much for the dwarves as they will be the ones doing the dying. Okay. I don't think they can hit us back. I think it is all on us to be proactive and take this place down. And I think... Well, let's go look at the report again. How many did I say they had in there? Um, let's see. Toggle sites, we want boat scalds. 11 civilized plus three intelligent undead. So there were 14 of them in there altogether, supposedly. Nope, I actually want to read that report. Gee, we've done a lot of raiding. Okay. Scroll up to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not concerned about our own casualties. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so hypothetically. Those two wraiths of snow are the only remaining defenders <laughs> of boat skulls. So hypothetically, dear viewers, if we just load up the squads and go again, we'll get them. Right? Right. Oh, this is going to go terribly. Um... Ooh, bars. Okay, we got some iron. Um, anything we still need, we can make out of iron or bronze. That's what we need charcoal for. Uh, make like 50 units of charcoal. We'll see how much more of this we can turn into um, steel. Oh, it's snowing. It's just, it's dirty gray snow, so it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> we don't get nice, clean white snow here. Okay. 
It is the pollution. Created by us, of course. We are um, the only ones in the area who can pollute the snow. Is everybody back yet? Okay, uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Just fill, fill holes. And don't put the queen in a squad. Okay. Congratulations, Udib. You've been promoted. Oh, a legendary mace dwarf. Yeah, heck yeah. Get in there, buddy. A legendary axe dwarf. Yeah. Okay, Risen the Hunter. You've been promoted. I know that's what you really wanted. Okay, we got a few more legendary fighters, apparently. I was not aware. But that that's good to know. I wonder if these are some of the ones the queen brought with her. Okay, there we go. Squads are topped up. We're going to keep the roads of growth here um, to defend the fort in case of attack. We'll just keep rolling out the others, though. Now then, um, what we will do is have everyone simulate clustering up here so that I can hopefully get some information. We need some greaves and a helm. Spears. We need a lot of armor, it looks like. I swear we've got enough. <laughs> I swear we've got enough for everybody. Okay, these are new recruits, so they will not be equipped yet. Okay. I don't think that did what I wanted it to. But, anyway... Um, smelter. We do have a unit of bituminous coal. Um, so what does this thing think we're missing? Flux stone and refined coal. Okay, well, flux stone is easy. Actually, kind of surprised we don't have any. But amazingly, we don't seem to. Okay, well, that's, that's doable. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's just find a promising looking mining level. <coughs> ah, here we are. Nope, this is quartzite. That's no good. We've got a flux level here somewhere, right? Ah, there we are. Okay, well, let's... Um sort of artfully grid this out. Nope. Eh. Good enough. All right. Go to it. Yeah, the miners will roll down and get started on that. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing down here. So let's see. We found an actual flux level right here. So let's just get started. Because apparently we need more steel to make more gear. That's fine. Are all these preparations really necessary to attack a settlement with two, count them, two wraiths of snow in it? Well, let's roll again. Uh, we're going to go for the raise. 
And whatever happens, happens. Okay, Zuthan, don't die. We love you, Zuthan. There they go. This is going to be a massacre, isn't it? <laughs> These things are apparently pretty strong. Are they intelligent undead, or are they demons or something? <laughs> Did I just send 50 dwarves to die? We're going to find out. But those should be the only defenders. This this should work. There's no reason this should not work. All right, we are getting close to the end of this episode. So let's pause it there and we will resume when they come back and that'll do it for today. All right, see you in a bit, folks. Okay, they're back. Um, I can already see that it didn't go perfectly but let's have a look we'll watch it unfold we arrive there are hypothetically only two def oh 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 they added more they added more dwarves <laughs> where did they get those <laughs> okay <laughs> let's see. Yeah, right at the snow. Oh, a goblin got one of our guys. Stabbed Prowl, that's a pretty good name. But did we get it? Did we did we do the thing? Skip to the end, skip to the end. Well defeated the ladder, escaped. Okay, so we did not. We did not, in fact, torch the joint. We just lost a bunch of dwarves. Well, that was a miscalculation. Wow. Are there actually 200 of them there? And Legends viewer is just misreporting. That's intriguing. And it's something we'll have to look into going forward because that's going to do it for today. Hey, real quick, before you click off, don't, don't go away yet. If this is going up on the day it should be, which is the 15th of April, 2024, this weekend... I will be in Salem attending the Mid-Valley Comic Art Expo. I will be with Nickel of Nickel Art Studio, link in the description. We'll be over in Artist Alley. If, by some amazing coincidence, one of the hmm, 96 of you at time of recording happens to be in Salem attending the show, come say hi. We'll be at table A40. That's A40. I will acknowledge that I am the person you think I am. And it'll be cool. So with that said, now you can click away. You can close the video or whatever. Thanks for watching, folks. Thanks to those of you who are subscribed to the channel. Thanks to those of you who are not yet subscribed to the channel. And thanks to those of you watching this without ever intending to subscribe to the channel because you count too. Every view counts. We will be back here next week with some more Dwarf Fortress, and there should be some kind of horror content going up this Saturday, but I don't know what that is at the time I'm recording. In any case, there is plenty of other content on the channel that you could check out as well. We got Shadows of Doubt. We've got uh, Layers of Fear. I don't know. I've uploaded like over 300 videos. I don't know how many of those are currently visible. So go check it out. And I'll see you folks next time. Until then, Birdman out. <laughs>